Hello YouTube. I have a project for you. Sit down and put pen to page. That way you can reflect on this later when you're not having the best of days. Tell me what's going right in your life. What's working? What's going good about your day today? What's good about you? What have you done right? What are your positive attributes? What about your relationships? I know. Trust me. I know. It's very, very easy to focus on and write a laundry list of the negatives, the mistakes that you may have made, things that didn't go according to plan today. I bet you can pull out five right off the top of your head. Even little things, you spilled a little coffee on the floor. They're right at the surface, aren't they? Uh, the bills that are due, the financial pressures, medical pressures, deadlines, the laundry heaping up, the laundry you didn't put away from last time. Just a list of negative things running through your mind or stresses, things to do, things undone. You need to make sure to take the time every single day to where it becomes a habit to focus at least as much, if not more so, on what positive comments have I heard about myself today. And if I haven't heard any, I should start giving them to me. What good did I do today? Even if you just got up and hopped in the shower. Congratulations, you have bathed yourself. That's one of the reasons why having a healthy routine is good. One of the many reasons is because not only do these healthy habits daily, 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 daily lead somewhere, but every day that you do them, you're guaranteed to have something to pat yourself on the back, no matter how little or how much of them you were able to pull off. You want to be able to think about what's going right in your life. Are you maintaining a job? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you get along well with others? Do you have a safe and secure environment? Are you growing plants? How are they doing? How are you doing on that? That may be a hit or miss. Um, did you cook your family a meal today? Did you call your mom? How are you doing? Focus on, just eliminate the negative for a minute. Sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil or pen. There's something more intimate about communicating in this original format versus the distance between ourselves and technology. Just sit down, put pencil or pen to page, and write out a list as long as you can get it about what's right in your life, what's right with you. What are you grateful for? What are your positive attributes? Only the positive. And try to add to this list as often as you can and reflect on this list as often as you can, especially when you catch yourself in one of those negative moods. We have this filter in life for so many reasons. It takes five attaboys to outdo one negative comment towards yourself. And we are our own worst critics. And because we're fixers and we're doers, we want to get to a destination. We really notice where we think that we might be failing or when something didn't go smoothly. If you allow your mind to be trained to stay there, all the good stuff, at least 80% of it just goes by and you can find yourself in a real bad rut of negative talk, negative focus, and you can be a great big Eeyore. Sorry about the copyright there, but I know this habit well. An attitude of gratitude is the way to be, and 
give yourself a little dose of healthy confidence. Realize your own competencies. You're a badass. You're great. Your life is going pretty darn well. Of course we don't want to allow all the to-dos to just be ignored and neglected completely. That's not okay. You're going to get to these things. You have your whole life. It's okay. What's important is not to allow the good things to go completely neglected and ignored because you are overwhelmed and overcome by the laundry list of to-dos, by the stresses, by all the cluster that has occurred in your day or in your weeks and you end up seeing the world through shit-colored glasses. I'm not asking you to see the world unrealistically through rose-colored glasses, but honestly, there are good things about you. There are good things going on in your life. Be aware of them. There are good things going on in your person. Be aware of them. There are good things going on every day. Be aware of it. You need to know your blessings. And I'm not saying that from a religious point of view. I'm saying that from a human point of view. We're all blessed. We all have gifts. And changing this attitude requires focus and effort and training your mind the same way you learn to do the opposite. You need to give at least equal weight to the positives in order to remain positive and to keep yourself going when it's all going to hell in a handbasket. I am swearing a lot in this video. I said I was genuine. I swore in the beginning. Let's return to the roots. I am who I am. Um, I'm not going to condemn myself for it, especially not during this, this topic. I am who I am. And there are good things about me. And I have a hard time remembering that sometimes. And when I'm having a difficult day, it feels like it's always been this way. And I have a habit of being Eeyore. Part of the reason why I want to change. I've made a lot of progress. I'm far more of a happy camper than I used to be. Uh, life doesn't need to change. Your mindset about life needs to change. But a lot of you is just fine, just how you are. You just can't see it. You can't see the reasons why other people love you. They do so for a reason. You can't see the reasons why people might be envious of you, of your life. Because you're busy looking elsewhere. You're looking at what you don't have. What you didn't do right instead of seeing all the things that you did. Start a gratitude list every day. Write one, here's another exercise, write one thing, at least one thing that I'm grateful for. Every day. And every day it has to be different. It can be as easy as I found a matching pair of socks. If that's all you got, that's all you got. It's okay. But every day it has to be something new, and over time you realize that your mind begins to look all over the place for things to be happy about. Especially when you run through the, I'm happy for my family, I'm grateful for waking up this morning. You run through the basics, you really start to get inventive, and you have to concretely think every day, early in the morning. don't have to write it down if you want, but it's a lot easier to write this one down because then you can reflect over, at minimum, 365 gratitudes when you're not having a good day. Um, and it's hard to remember what you haven't said if you didn't write it down. So those are my two exercises for you. I want you to write a list of what is good about you. What's good about you? What has gone right in your life? What is going right in your life? What did you do well today? And I want you to get in sort of a habit of this as often as you feel the need. Um, there's no 
tips and tricks or tools and things that you have to do, no schedule you have to keep. Goals are like chores we give ourselves. Don't make this extra stressful. You don't have to do anything anyone suggests online, no matter how many followers they have. You don't have to do anything anyone suggests. Only take what you find useful, but seriously, this will be very, very useful. Um, when this question was posed to me recently, I was drawing a blank, and I realized how far I really still have to go. So I am initiating this practice. So if you want to be cool like me, hey, <laughs> totally not, no, I'm not going to do it. See, I was about to say totally not cool. It's such a second nature to diss myself. So, if you want to do this with me, make that log of what's right and reflect on it when you're not adding to it so that you can see how far you've come. You can acknowledge your little milestones. You can see on a small and broad spectrum why those people love you, why people would want to be you, why you're a badass. What's great about your life? And you begin to go in and grow in the areas that you notice because they make you feel good. You love yourself. I love you. Bye, YouTube.